beautiful! Welcome back to my tarot channel! If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now, my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about encouraging and nurturing messages from your future self. What's coming for you? What do you need to know? What would they like to tell you? Now this is going to be a water scrying reading today and I would say let's dive straight into the pile selection. As always, my dear, I have three piles you can choose from, and today I have only cards, no crystal. So, this is pile one with the beautiful card of Sync with the Moon, always. <laughs> this is pile two with Clear Energy, and this is pile three with Hydrate. Very, very important. So, my dear, as always, please feel free to pause the video. Or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, I'll send a comment section. And as always, my dear, if you're interested or curious in the person you're reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what nurturing and encouraging messages do we have for you from your future self. First of all, my dear, there are a few things I would like to talk about. The Sync with the Moon card really felt important. I really feel like there is a message for you here. And first of all, this energy for me is a very feminine energy. Now, as I always like to say, we have masculine and feminine energy both within us, right? And it doesn't matter who you are and it doesn't matter what gender you are. This is for you. What I'm seeing here happening is that your future self is kind of giving a message to us with this beautiful card. And the message that I received from that was, I feel like when it comes to the journey you're heading towards, it's it has a lot to do with you healing something when it comes to your feminine energy or when it comes to your femininity even. Okay? So... Also, the way this woman is standing there with her hand on her chest, it almost feels like she's trying to reconnect with something that, you know, she could have lost for some time. And I really feel like for you, my beautiful pile one, this is all about you reconnecting with your vulnerable self and your powerful self at the same time. There is strength and power in softness, in gentleness, in vulnerability. And this could have been parts of you that maybe you thought that you had to reject or because of life experiences, you very often you had to become, you know, maybe very rough because of the experiences you were experiencing and maybe there wasn't a lot of room for you to be vulnerable or to be soft because life was just challenging you and I really feel like when it comes to where you're heading towards it's reconnecting with that side of you that is full of love for your feminine side it's full of love to nurture and not only others, but especially yourself here. You're heading towards a beautiful journey and 
it is never too late to connect with that side of us. Even with the moon card, um, not the moon card, even with the moon word here, I really feel like, like moon for me is something that I associate with the feminine energy, right? The same way that a lot of people associate the sun with the masculine energy. And I really feel like you are coming in touch with a much deeper side of you. Deeply feminine energy here. And I'm also hearing if you guys have been for some reason shamed or guilt tripped into certain parts of you. This is definitely a huge healing towards that. It could be something physical regarding something like your body, but I feel like it is more than that. For others of you, it could even be just something internal. Maybe you have been ashamed. I'm sorry, maybe you have been shamed or people try to guilt you for something you wanted to do for just the way you are. And this is all about healing that through reconnecting with your feminine energy, through acknowledging that, first of all, all those things where just negative energy being projected, those people themselves had so many problems within their own space that they tried to also bring it into yours. And what I really feel here for you, my dear, is that this card is an invitation to heal, to connect with your feminine essence. Wow, I got a lot of messages alone from this card, but I feel like your future self definitely wanted to share those thoughts with you regarding what's coming for you, you connecting and embarking on that journey. For some, you may already be on that and you may just um, get stronger and stronger on that journey, okay? Another thing I wanted to talk about here is, I think you guys can see it. Something I always like to do with my water scrying energy readings is, of course, using essential oils because of different reasons. It also just creates a beautiful, you know, mood. And also, depending on which essential oil I get guided to choose, there is always, even if it's just a little message, but there is always a message in the decision I take. For you guys, I chose the frankincense oil blend. And one benefit the frankincense oil can have is to reduce stress or it helps with relaxation, calming energy. And I really feel like this could be something that you need at that moment, at this time. This could also be a suggestion of your future self to reminds you how important it is to prioritize your your well-being and keep track of you know stress and worries you have so you don't get lost in them to become mindful of them to not allow in everything to just drain you out of energy i know why i heard like choose your battles wisely it's kind of like your future self doesn't want you to just give anything or everyone the time of the day, you know, to just be aware that not everything or everyone deserves your your energy and that most importantly, make sure you get good sleep, make sure you allow your body to be relaxed, you allow your mind to calm down and you are aware of your emotions and you give it the care it also needs, okay? Your future self definitely wants you to take care of your well-being here. Now, we're already seven minutes in <laughs> and we have not started with the actual reading. So my dear, as always, I 
already meditated for you guys and yeah let's go as always my dear if you see me um playing with the water that's just something i like to do so my dear let's go into the energies here as always please give me a moment to choose into the energies here for my beautiful pile one what encouraging messages does their future self have for them what do they need to know let's see The first thing, okay, the first thing I heard is you're doing wonderful. You're doing wonderful where you are. Now, I feel like it could be the case that some of you guys at times maybe are a little bit harsh on yourself. Maybe you think, okay, wherever you are in life, whatever you do, you should be much more ahead. Maybe you also look at other people, people your age, or just generally speaking where people are. You may compare your journey to other people's journey. And the message coming from your future self, my dear, is very, very clear. They don't want you to do that. They want you to acknowledge that you are a individual. And even though we are bombarded with, you know, comparing ourselves and stuff like that, I'm hearing take care of your peace of mind. Make sure that, yeah, once again, I already got this message even before that, right? With the, with the frankincense oil. Make sure that you don't just allow anyone to step into your space. Because not everyone deserves that. And your future self is definitely emphasizing that. Why? Because not everyone has good intentions towards you. And if someone doesn't have good intentions towards you, well, guess what? They don't deserve you. They don't deserve to be in your life or in your space. And also coming back to the previous message, don't be too hard towards yourself. This is something that is so important for your future self to mention. Don't be too hard. And I know this is so much easier said than done because most of us are throughout the day in the space in which, well, we're more so into the negativity than in the positive, right? And this also maybe feeds certain thoughts, certain thoughts, thought patterns or emotions that we are stuck in and it may only feed the negativity that we have in our mind as well and I know this is so much easier said than done but I need to deliver this message your future self they want you to to not be so harsh towards yourself my dear whether it's through the way you talk towards yourself whether it's through the way you see yourself you're doing so well where you are right now. And everyone is on their own individual journey. We all have, yeah, our own battles, right? And we all go through our own journey. So don't compare yours to other people. They're not you. And maybe it's not so much you. I mean, it could be the case that other people are trying to compare your journey to other people's journey, right? This is something, unfortunately, for example, um, like parents, for example, may sometimes do compare us to, I don't know, let's just say a, a cousin or a sister or whatever it may be, right? A friend. It may have already started, like, we hear it so often, right, with grades, like, someone has better grades than you, try to become better and stuff like that. And the older we get, it can look very different, the kind of comparison, right? And I really want to tell you here, whoever it is, don't 
don't allow their ignorant nature to to make you feel down like that because i'm hearing it so clearly your future self they are proud of you okay let me say it one more time your future self is proud of who you are what you have become where you are in life they're so proud of all the things you are doing and all the challenges that you've overcome all the sadness and disappointment that you have gone through they made you so much stronger but they don't define who you are because you are so much more than that okay and you're deserving of so much more than that I'm hearing I love you. I'm hearing I am seeing. I'm seeing the beauty of you. I learned to acknowledge it. I'm hearing I don't allow other people to define my worth anymore. I see my inner beauty. I see the love that I have within myself this love gives me strength and stability i made peace with myself because the relationship i have to myself is the most important relationship i will ever have I'm hearing even if it wasn't easy I kept going even when I didn't knew whether I was making the right decision or not I let go because I let go of what didn't serve me and I allowed myself to do those decisions that would bring me closer to my heart space oh my goodness you guys Someone's energy here is incredible. Like, I am directly connecting to it. Your future self wants you to know that. You've gone through so much darkness that you're not even aware of all the light that you're attracting into your life and just because you don't see it that doesn't mean it's not there there are so many beautiful things coming towards you but one thing which is so important for you to do is to make sure that you nurture your relationship towards yourself and you keep what doesn't nurture and encourage this relationship and in fact maybe breaks the relationship you have towards yourself or brings negativity to you you keep it away from you don't give your energy away for free anymore they don't deserve it you deserve so much more my dear I can feel it within my body, okay? I can feel the energy within my body. <sighs> when we love ourselves, 
we also invite more and more love towards us, even romantically speaking. And especially for those of you guys who are trying to manifest love, which I am seeing in here. Keep that in mind. Maybe it's motivation for you to, you know, work on your self-love. But keep in mind, at the end of the day, you should do it for yourself. Because people come and go, but who stays in your life who is the most important person in your life, the kind of love which is the most important love, it's always going to be you, your self-love. Self-love is first love, right? And once again, I'm hearing if you want to manifest love, like a romantic partner, let me be more specific here, a great way to do that is to connect with the love you already have towards yourself because... As I always like to say, we don't attract what we want, we attract what we are. And being love is the answer. Pile one. Wow, I like your future self. <laughs> like, I can't even describe the kind of things that just happened within the last minutes. Your future self was like that on. You're deeply, my dear, you're deeply connected to your, mm, I'm sorry, not connected, of course, we're all connected, but um, you're deeply in tune with your higher self. And I feel like sync with the moon, like this energy, it's almost like it's not only about the feminine energy, but it's also about your higher self. Because we're all connected to our higher selves. We are all our higher self, right? But some people throughout, especially their spiritual journey, they can consciously connect with their higher self more and more and even receive messages or it even gets like more expanded than just that and I really feel like this is not only about you connecting with that feminine energy of yours, but you're also connecting with like more and more with your higher self. Some of you guys may literally already receive messages from them. That's all I'm going to say. So my beautiful pile one, I really feel like I need to stop it right here because if I would go on, we would definitely go for one more hour. <laughs> Please, my dear, feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. This reading for me literally felt like a hug full of love. And I feel like you guys, or I hope at least that you guys felt this energy as well. As always, my dear, if you haven't, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, please don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload a video for you guys. Also, my dear, as always, if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal one, take care, my love. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see what encouraging and nurturing messages do we have for you from your future self. First of all, my dear, I would like to start with one thing which was very synchronistic. First of all, I really feel like this card has a message for you. And the message in this card is pretty clear. I mean, it says clear energy field. So for some of you guys, it's almost like your future self. They want you to right now as you are, you know, look at yourself, look at your environment and see whether the kind of energies you have around are encouraging good for you positive or whether there is some negativity around you that is really draining you like i don't know why i heard energy vampire so that's interesting as well but for some of you guys it could be the case that there is literally the need for some 
yeah, energy cleansing. And of course, there are a lot of different ways to do that, whatever works out for you. But there could be a message in here. And the reason why I said synchronistic was, as some of you guys know, when I do the water scrying energy readings, I like to also add essential oil blends into the water. And for you guys, I chose the tea tree oil blend. Now, that was a very interesting one because I personally, I love tea tree for a lot of different reasons and benefits. But with you guys, I got one message coming through, which is cleansing. And the reason why I said synchronistic was because when I got the cleansing energy and then I got the clear energy field, it's just, it's, it's, it's very, um, connecting in a way, right? Both are talking about, yeah, you just clearing something or cleansing something. And also the tea tree oil can help with certain inflammations, right? So, yeah, I really feel like for some of you guys, maybe there is something around you that's not serving you and your future self is creating the space to to let you know that if something is not good for you, don't entertain it or don't accept it because you deserve so much more. For some of you guys, you could have also been drawn to PAL1 because I got a similar message there as well. If not, then as always, just stick with this PAL here, of course. But I do feel like there is some kind of heavy energy stuck to you. And this is not supposed, or this is not the way you're supposed to live, okay? This is not the way you should give your energy out because my dear i really really feel like you're someone who is so strong when it comes to manifestation and the universe doesn't care whether we want something or not if we're aligned with something we're gonna attract it and with you guys you are such great manifestors it is so important for you especially to make sure that you don't focus on the things that you don't want. But when you're stuck in some kind of energy and it's not pleasant, you still focus on it, right? Because it's so heavy. It is in your space. So that's why it's even more important for you to make sure that whatever is in your energy field, it's actually something you want and not something you don't want. Or to double check whether the things you're focusing on are actually things you want to manifest or things that are actually, yeah, not something that you don't want to have in your life, right? So that's a very quickly message here. I hope for someone it's going to be, yeah, meaningful or important. But let's start now with your actual reading, my dear. As always, I've already meditated for you guys and also, as always, if I play with the water, please don't mind it. That's something I like to do. So my dear, let me tune in and yeah, let's start with your reading. What encouraging messages do we have for you from your future self? What's coming for you? What do you need to know? What encouraging and nurturing messages for my beautiful pile two. For my beautiful pile two. What do you need to know? Let's see, let's see. Okay. Let me share you. Um, excuse me. Let me share with you guys what I'm seeing in here. Because it, it's kind of like your... Mm, your future self, they're showing to me that like kind of the journey you're embarking on soon or you're about to embark, 
I'm seeing that in your journey, it could be something that's coming towards you very soon. But it's definitely very, very significant and it's going to be a turning point almost in your life. That's why your future self is, in, is emphasizing that. I'm seeing that for you, my dear, there will be a time in your life in which you're, you have, okay? I really strongly feel like this is something you have to do. You have to take a decision. And this decision is going to take a lot of courage for you. A lot of courage. It could even be the case that you have to be the most courageous you've ever been. And this is going to be... Or the reason why, let me put it that way. The reason why I feel like it's going to be a very courageous decision is because it can change a lot in your life. And whenever we take decisions that are life-changing one way or another, I mean... Of course, they're very, very big decisions, right? And this is a energy I see you stepping into. Now, what's important or what's interesting, what's very encouraging regarding this decision is that your future self is showing me that whatever this, this decision is going to be that you are going to choose for yourself, what's going to come for you is success and that's literally the way it came through this decision this very courageous decision which in a way may also be a risk okay i'm seeing you taking is gonna literally take you towards some kind of success that you want in life now just my own interpretation here now nothing to do with your future self but the way the energies came through it could be the case that this decision has something to do with your career for some of you guys maybe you're gonna take a decision a very crucial decision when it comes to your job or career and you're gonna in a way the best way to explain it take a leap of faith you know you're gonna risk it you're gonna just courageously go for it um, and it's gonna be a huge payoff like it's gonna be something that's gonna work in your favor and if it is related to your career I definitely feel like you're gonna get what it is that you want so for example and this is really just an example so it doesn't have to resonate but let's just say someone is gonna take the leap and start their own business or start or you know choose a certain career whatever it may be i really see you succeeding in that career the way you will try to do and it is not something easy if it was easy i mean everyone would do it right but it's going to be so worth it and you the motivation comes from you the determination comes from you and something which is very important here is that it's something that you're going to be passionate about, okay? And even if it's not connected to your career, maybe another example could be someone would like to move to a certain country or to a certain city or to a certain environment that they really love, that they always wanted to be around. Or maybe it's some kind of hobby that you really would like to be serious about. I mean, it can be really anything, okay? Okay. And whatever it's going to be, the important aspect of that is that it's something that you're passionate about. It's something that you literally burn for. You are going to be so happy doing, even if it's career related. It's going to be something that you see a purpose in or you are to some extent passionate about. And it's interesting how I'm... Okay, give me a second. Okay. It is interesting how I, I'm feeling that... Maybe for some of you guys, you... You, 
lift or let me put it that way you allowed other people at times to take certain decisions up for you which made you feel a little bit powerless or which made you feel like you weren't really the the driver you know of your life and it's interesting how i see you when you go through that energy when you step into that journey how more and more less important it gets for you it when it comes to other people's opinions. I do feel like for some of you guys, it could even be the case that certain people tried to talk you out of things you were passionate about or things you wanted in life. And that really made you, yeah, feel very discouraged and almost like you're not really living the kind of life you would want, but maybe you're living the kind of life that other people expect you to live. And it's interesting how I see that when you get so courageous, when you embark on this very exciting, okay, very, very exciting path, that you also stop caring about other people's opinions. I mean, if they are, of course, let's say from someone who really wants the best for you and, you know, maybe they want you to consider certain things and it's coming from a place of love, that's not the kind of think I'm talking about here I'm talking about people who are discouraging you just because because they don't want you to succeed because they want you to put you down because maybe they aren't at a good place themselves so they don't want you to be any better than them I'm talking about those kind of energies literally trolls literally haters there's no really like there's really no other way to explain it you will not give their voice importance anymore and speaking of voice, if there is one thing I feel so strongly when it comes to this energy, it's that I really feel like, my dear, your future self is showing me that, especially throughout this path, but not only that, okay, not only this courageous move you're going to take, I mean within like your life in general. Your intuition is going to become a huge guide of yours. Even looking into your future self as energy and the messages they are sh sharing with me, sending my way. They're living with their intuition. And I also would like to talk about the fact that I'm receiving some regret coming through as well from your future self. It's almost like, yeah, I'm hearing, I wish I... I started sooner, like listening to that intuition. And I mean, it is your free will. Even watching this reading, right? You have free will and you can always decide whether you want to do something or not because that's your power. This is the beautiful thing that makes us human. Even if certain energies are coming towards us, even if we attract something, we have the last word in the way that we can say no. Like even if something comes towards us and it's in front of us, if we don't want it, our free will, we can say no. And even if I'm seeing these energies coming through regarding you indeed following your intuition more and more, listening to it and seeing it as a very important guide, you always still can say no, okay? So just keep that in mind. But coming back to the messages I was talking about, I really feel like your, your future self, they've become so much more intuitive as well. You could be someone who sees themselves as very intuitive or maybe you're someone who's also embarking on the spiritual journey, um, doing certain spiritual practices that nurture you, soothe you, and stuff like that. But you don't even know the extent of things that you're gonna open up for yourself. Like, you, you don't even know how much it can get, how intuitively intuitive you can become. And just generally speaking, certain things you will open yourself up to energetically. I personally, the way it's coming through, I really feel like it could be gifts that you have. 
And those gifts are definitely going to be things that you want to use for yourself, okay? Very, very important. Like gifts or, um, yeah, energies that you're going to use for yourself. There is really one thing I would like to say here, which is probably the most important message coming from your from your future self, and it's that stay optimistic when it comes to your future, my dear. There are so many beautiful things coming towards you. And of course, in this moment, I mean, you may not be able to see it. It may be hidden for you excuse me, from you, but maybe it's even more important than for me to emphasize that you can be excited about your future, you should be excited about your future, and how important it is for us to stay hopeful as well, because I see even though maybe right now you don't see the things coming your way, you're gonna gain clarity with time, and it's maybe the reason for that is so you get surprised because, you know, when we get surprised at times, something can be even more beautiful, right? So maybe that's something about that. But I really would like to talk about the fact that there are good things coming towards you. I see literally the sun. And when I saw the sign, I heard bright future. So... The way we perceive stuff, you know, the way we view stuff and our belief, it is so important because it literally shapes things as well. So it's very important for you to stay or have an optimistic view when it comes to your future, okay? This is a very, very important message in here. You can, inf I mean, not you can, you literally, you literally influence your future, right? So... Coming back to that message as well, if you feel like you have too much clouds around you and you can't see the sun that's coming towards you, this could be the invitation for you to make sure that you clear those clouds, okay? That don't allow you to see in front of you. So my beautiful pal too, I really feel like I have to stop it right here. So my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. As always, my dear, if you haven't, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you would like to get further information regarding a person or reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And if you would like to also connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal 2, take care my love. Hey pal 3, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what messages or more specific what encouraging and nurturing messages do we have for you from your future self. What's coming? First of all, my dear, I felt drawn to do this to do this in every single pile. And for you guys, I feel drawn to do this as well. Your card. I feel like there is a message for you. Now, the card is pretty straightforward. It says hydrate. And we can see this beautiful woman about to drinking a glass of water. And I feel like for some of you guys, maybe there is something that you could do to nurture yourself even more physically here, okay? This is specifically, physically speaking. Maybe some of you guys, you need to literally drink more water. Maybe you are a little bit lazy when it comes to that. For others of you, um, I'm not really getting... I mean, it could also be something else, but for me, I really just see the water for now. Maybe others... I don't know, you may have certain goals you're trying to achieve, maybe physical goals, such as... Um, 
of course take it how it resonates but it could maybe someone wants to gain weight someone wants to lose weight someone wants to work out more to become more fit maybe eat more nutritious it can really be anything but this is definitely a message for you here to yeah if you feel like um that's something that nurtures you that's something you need to do that's definitely something that's being um shown here to me here now moving on from this message there is also another thing i would like to talk about which is that as you may know i like to always use essential oils i don't know if you can see it i think so in my water and for you guys i chose the orange oil blend now first of all it smells so so good you guys like it smells so fresh and the orange oil like generally speaking benefits it's it literally lifts your mood it's so fresh and i really feel like for you my beautiful pile three maybe some of you guys you yeah i'm coming back to the body maybe some of you guys you you know need to do more self-care in the sense that maybe it also helps you to you know be in a good mood or nurture yourself i feel like for some of you guys there is a message for you here to make sure that you don't forget about the self-care routine or rituals that you like to do which nurture you literally your body your mind your emotions your soul just things that make you feel so good about yourself as an example it could be after a very hard day or a busy day coming home and you know filling a wonderful bath with maybe wonderful essential oils which once again smell really good such as this orange oil here and yeah maybe there are certain scents that you like to add in your bath water but this is just an example of course but it's all about you yeah taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself more and i mean sometimes when especially when our schedule is very very busy and we may also have a lot of responsibilities that we're trying to um take care of right when we find ourselves in these kind of situations taking care of ourselves or finding time for ourselves better to say it may come a little bit short although when we are the busiest right at times when we are so busy we may need self-care and self-nurture the most and this is definitely an invitation here for you to don't forget about that and of course whatever fits your schedule and your particular life situation but make sure that you nurture yourself physically um through of course not phys only physically for some of you guys maybe journaling you know also helps you to nurture your mind or your emotions so whatever really works out for you but this is a message i'm receiving and i feel like it started off with hydrate but it can really be anything it's all about just giving yourself whatever it is that you need to feel well okay that's the that's the message in here now having said that i would say let's start with the reading as always my dear i have already meditated for you and yeah let's start with the energies as always my dear give me a little bit of time to tune into the energies and please don't mind when i play with the water because that's something i i feel drawn to do when i do these readings so my dear as always as always please give me time to tune into the energies here for my beautiful pile three what nurturing and encouraging messages do we have for you from your future self what's coming for you what do you need to know
The first thing I've heard is express your fire, which is very interesting because that's very like it's the opposite of this card because this card is giving me really like literally water energy, right? And your future self came through with express your fire. I really feel like, my dear, because the fire element for me, also when we look into the tarot, right? I mean, there are different cards in the tarot, if some of you guys don't know, and there are certain elements that are being associated with the suits. And of course, we have the wands energy, which is all about the fire, right? And I know why when this message came through, I thought about the wands energy and one thing that's very mm, that's connected to the wands energy is creativity or creation that's kind of energy and i really feel like for you my dear pal three your future self is encouraging you here to express yourself more especially creative this could also be something that nurtures you like your well-being or something some of you guys may even want to incorporate in your self-care routine but this is not only that i feel like this goes much deeper your future self literally wants you to to do things that you're passionate about especially when you do so many things that you have to do because of responsibilities and stuff like that maybe genuinely doing something just for you just to have fun or just to you know let your creative energy out maybe you don't really do those things very often but there is such a importance here because it also brings balance especially maybe for those of you guys who have a very practical work it really allows you to balance yourself out and if there is one message so far which you should take with you for sure it's to make more things or excuse me yeah maybe make or do depending on the situation but do more things that make you feel fun that are fun that make you feel so just happy and maybe even playful things but just things that make you feel very passionate and that you enjoy your future self wants you to do those things or incorporate those things right now into your life. Like very often we may say, okay, um, right now I'm busy. Oh, maybe in a few weeks or a few months when I have time, I'm going to start with something, maybe a little bit like a hobby or just something that I would like to do when I have time. But I'm hearing here very, very important from your future self. I'm hearing make time. That doesn't mean that, you know, you should take three hours from your busy schedule and, you know, do something creative. Of course not. But your future self, and I feel like the reason why they're emphasizing this so much is because it's going to nurture you so much, my dear. It's going to have such a positive impact on your life quality. That's literally something I heard. I really feel like however it works out for you even if it's just 10 minutes out of your day maybe drawing something um maybe doing something that really makes you feel excited and just something you're very passionate about something playful even make time for it because it's gonna give you a lot of energy almost like a boost of energy and overall it's just fun your future self wants you to to draw your life more colorful there is maybe that's the best way to to explain that they want you to draw your life more colorful and to also make space for yourself especially for those of you guys who also you know have to maybe take care of other people and you may sometimes come short make time for yourself that's so important my dear because if we don't make time for ourselves, unfortunately later on we may be forced to take time for ourselves. but that's a forceful thing right when we for example um have a burnout or such thing 
So this is almost like taking care of yourself so it doesn't even come that far. Making sure that you meet your needs now so you don't are not forced one day to, you know, go into there. But really, that's the bottom line. Whether it's hydrating, whether it's um, self-care, whether it's, you know, doing something passionate and fun for you. The, all those messages I've received so far, all, all about you taking time for yourself, making time for yourself. And nurturing yourself, nurturing your well-being. That's really the bottom line here. That's the message in your pile. This is what your future self wants you to, to know. What they want to share with you. And there is another thing I would like to mention here. That I really feel strongly, strongly coming through. Which is something in your life is speeding up. This could be a meeting or this could be a divine timing. But this is a message that your future self is sharing with me. So maybe for someone it's going to be significant. But that's something I should tell I'm hearing. Or I need to tell better to say. Also... If some of you guys have been in the hermit mode for quite some time, I really feel like this is the time for you to step out of it. And in fact, I feel like for some of you guys, you may literally even step out of your comfort zone more. Because as I said, I feel like you're gonna almost do more things that bring a lot of excitement towards you. And for some of you guys, this could be connected to stepping out of the familiar or of the comfort zone and allowing yourself to dive into certain areas that you know you maybe always wanted to go towards or step into but maybe you didn't and this is really all about you once again expressing this fire expressing this fire not holding back There is also this this curiosity in here that some of you guys may really mm, explore. Maybe a curiosity for life. Maybe a cur curiosity for the things that you feel passionate about. But I really feel you put yourself first, my dear. You, like your future self is showing me that you are about to put yourself first or you are on the journey towards it. And that's definitely encouraged here. Whether it's, you know, putting yourself first and making time for yourself or for the things you care about. But, I'm sorry, you care about. Mm, but definitely exciting, you, my dear. <sighs> Let me tell you. Your future self is showing me that the energies coming towards you are, are so beautiful. Almost like... Yeah, the best way to explain it was the metaphor I used um, in the beginning of the reading, I believe. Which was all about you bringing colors back into your life. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you, and also with this illustration, we can see her here, right? And it doesn't matter what gender you are, this is just an example. But we can see this woman in here, and her hair is dark. And it almost looks like she is mm, surrounded by this like dark energy or this darkness. But then around her, there are so many colors joining, right? This could be for you as well. Maybe you guys, your life has been a little bit boring or one-dimensional or just not really the way you may want it to be, not really um, satisfying. And it's kind of like what your, what your future self is showing me that you're bringing those colors back into your life and it's going to feel so exciting. This is definitely something you can look forward to, my beautiful path three. There is no doubt about that. 
the messages in here are very positive, they're very encouraging, and they're all about getting excited, but not only that, doing things that make you excited. Okay? And however it works out for you once again, not everyone is going to be able to take hours of their day for you know things they feel passionate about or things that make them feel very playful and fun but even if you start with like even if it's just little steps once again only 10 minutes make the best out of those 10 minutes and really treat those 10 minutes in a very sacred way just you and yourself just you and yeah, creating a wonderful experience for you. Whatever it is that you want to emerge yourself, your creativity in. It's definitely encouraged here because I see it's gonna it's gonna give you so much energy, okay? A great balance of whatever it is that you are doing in life as well. This is definitely, like, <laughs> I feel like we went from encouraging and nurturing messages to actually your future self, mm, giving you direct messages when it comes to, you know, what you should incorporate into your life or what is good for you in a way. But I mean, whenever something or whenever a reading goes a certain way, it's meant to, as you all may know, right? So my dear, that's really all I'm getting for today. I'm not receiving any more messages for you. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you haven't, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. Also, my dear, as always, if you would like to get further information regarding a person or reading with me, you can feel free to email me. And lastly, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my love.